let's talk about tile maps. Um, and let's specifically talk about how we can get a little bit of extra variance into our tile maps um, without doing too much extra work. So I've got the ground of this level set up. And what I want to do is I want to put some obstacles on here. So I'm going to draw some obstacles on. And you might have already noticed some things that not necessarily are wrong, but could be improved. So in the case of this long one over here, you might notice that all of them look really similar. Um, you've got uh, one on the end, one on the other end, and then everything in between is exactly the same. The other thing is that the ends are exactly the same whether they're on the flat, whether they're on an edge like this, or whether they're on an inside corner like this. It doesn't matter as much up here, but down here it definitely does. These green bits just in the corner look really off to me. So I'm going to show you how we can get around both of these. So first, let's add some uh, randomization to these middle tiles. So what we can do is we'll go to our tile, our rule tile, our rule set, and we will create some... Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to change these from single to random. So these are the tiles that we're going to be using to add that randomness. I've got two left edges. I've got two right edges, and then I have four um, random variants of the in-betweens. Um, and these are our uh, odd edges down the bottom here, but they'll come into play later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go two random uh, pieces here, four random pieces for our in-between, and then for our last edge it's going to be two again. Oop. There we go. No, so that's not four, so next one's going to be five, five so that's that. So we have one after that, and then these two. And then I was going to be three ones there, so one, two, three, four. Yep. So now what we have is we have the same rule set, essentially, but wherever it could place one of these middle ones, it's going to pick one of these four sprites to place. And wherever it is placing this edge one here, it's going to pick one of these two. So we've already added a bunch more randomness to what it had before, and you can see it already looks far less uniform than what it did before. Um, but we still have this problem of these edges look exactly the same as these ones down here, um, and these ones are way off. We're going to do something a little tricky here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a single uh, tile that is uh, has, a, has a blank sprite in it. It doesn't have any sprite in it at all. So whenever you place that tile, you won't see it, but its effects will be felt by the rest of the tiles. So we will put, and, and <laughs> that's it there, we've created our blank sprite. Um, make this none so it doesn't have any collision on it, um, but you can see now that if we were to um, put this near our other ones, they're disappearing because these ones up here are looking for nothing above, nothing below. And all of these are looking for that. So if you put something below it, or something above it, these rules are not met. So we can use that to our advantage. So let's drag in these edge pieces here. Now, this one is, we're trying to make this this edge here. So what we're going to do to do this is we're going to have one of those invisible sprites beneath it. So we're going to have nothing above, nothing to the left. We do want something to the right and this time we do want something below. So now if we place one of these blank uh, tiles beneath it, we'll see it switch to our edge piece, and now it has this nice kind of, uh, looks like it's overflowing near the edge. And we'll do another one of these for the other side. Uh, nothing, let's see it's already taken this on because I haven't put any rules in yet. Um, but nothing above, nothing to the right this time, something to the left, and nothing and something below. So now what happens is if we put something here, now we have two correct edges that both look like they're kind of drooping off the edge and it actually looks better than, or it looks a little bit more dynamic than if we just had the same edge as we have on flat ground. What I might do to make this a little bit more obvious what we're, what's going on, because it's not exactly intuitive to say we're placing invisible sprites, especially now because I'm trying to tell you about where they are and we just can't see them. So I might just grab just some random sprite. 
and this one will do. So now you can see this is where we place those sprites. Um, now I'm going to do a similar thing down here. I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab this edge. What we want is we want this to cover up that there. So that's going to be bottom uh, right. So we want something above. We want something to the left. We want nothing to the right and nothing below. And so now what's going to happen is, is obviously I haven't placed anything up. So now if I place something here and something above it, we have something that fits nicely into that space. I'll do another one on the other side. Drag in our sprite. And now if I place something here and here, now see that looks way better than before. Having those random green pieces in there just I don't think looks very good. I think anywhere where you have an inside corner like this or that, if you're going to be placing something on top of it, then I think you kind of need to have something that also has that um, inside corner feel to it. So what we can do now is we can just go and remove the sprite from that. So they're still there, they're just invisible. Like logically there is a tile here, 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 and here. We just can't see them. So whenever we want to create, so if we wanted to put something up here, see it's already got it because we have that one in the middle there. And then if we put something beneath it, there you go. All right. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found something useful in this and good luck with all your future projects.